Mathrigan is the newest scary doll movie, and usually I don't check out the January horror films because usually they're not very good, but Mathrigan was a special exception. Back a couple months ago when the trailer to this hit the internet, it really broke the internet. The trailer was bonkers, it went under everyone's radar, and so it took everyone by surprise. Everyone knew that James Wan was involved, you know, for us malignant fans. We were like, yeah, this is gonna be it. Obviously, this wasn't directed by James Wan, this is, I believe he's one of the producers. And now that I have seen the movie, I will say it didn't quite live up to the madness that you would expect from a James Wan produced film, because I will be completely transparent when I say that the Trailers showed you the peak of the madness. Obviously, what's implied in the trailer does happen. When it comes to campiness of Mathrigan dancing through the hallways with the knife and chasing everyone, it only goes a little bit further than what the trailers provide for you. And I will say that the trailer maybe was a little too good because there is a lot of stuff shown in the trailer. Not to say that the movie has nothing to offer because it has a little bit to offer. And let's get into what it does have to offer. This movie's funny. It has a lot of good commentary on children nowadays with uh, how they're attached to their devices and it's almost a very emotional thing for them, how they are with phones and iPads. I don't want to say I am that way, even though I will admit that my generation is pretty bad, but the younger kids that are now growing up with tablets, even I'm 18 years old, I did not grow up with a tablet. I got a tablet when I was like around eight years old, but these kids are being brought up not knowing what it was like not to have tablets. And so to kind of show that connection in this film, I thought was probably the best part about it. As you see this little girl experience Mathrigan, it feels real to her. It feels like a real personal connection. And while throughout the Anshan teller, you know, Mathrigan's not real. She's not an actual person. Yes, I'm going to call her Mathrigan throughout the whole thing. That's my favorite part about this movie. What didn't help was the characters were absolutely unbearable and annoying. I did not connect to these characters. My biggest issue with this is that obviously this girl that invented Mathrigan, the one that was in Get Out, the aunt, she is a genius. She created Mathrigan. It's a $100,000 project. It's an expensive machine. She has to be a genius, right? But she makes the dumbest decisions throughout this whole entire movie. Yes, it makes sense if a dumb character makes dumb decisions, but she's supposed to be a genius. She doesn't even know how to talk to her niece. You see it in the trailer, she says, I can't even take care of my own plants. How am I supposed to take care of a kid? Then I thought, I started to think about it. Why are you a toy designer for children when you don't know how to even talk to them? To me, that doesn't seem like a good idea. And how is she hired in a toy company that can spend $100,000 on a prototype? I don't know. As I'm going through editing this video, there's two things I do want to add that I did not think of while I was reviewing it. The little girl, there's a lot of scenes in the movie where she's just kind of supposed to be sad. Yes, she does have emotional scenes and she actually does do a pretty good job with it. But it just feels like there's a lot of scenes where the director was just kind of like, uh, be sad and she just kind of like walks around with a straight face like it felt like that for the first half hour or so of the movie it just felt like lazy directing what's so weird about it is that we saw the rest of the movie and she can act she's a good little actress so i don't know why she was directed so poorly within that first half or so and i also do want to add that ronnie chang is really really good and really really funny in this movie he's definitely the standout and the one character i liked and found fun to watch and didn't absolutely hate every single decision that they made even though he's the guy that runs the company and greenlit all of it but he just he's just so likable in the role all that put aside yes the characters were dumb the trailers showed a little too much this movie was kind of disposable it wasn't as absurd as i wanted it to be nor do i think it will be as absurd as people expect it to be like i said it only goes a little bit beyond of what the trailers implied but i won't sit here and be like this was a bad january horror movie because compared to the average of what we get for January horror this is so much better than what we could have gotten for this Mathrigan film this movie was at least self-aware enough to be fun for the majority of the runtime the VFX on Mathrigan actually does look pretty good there was no shot in this movie where I was like that looks really fake and so the idea of bringing this toy to life on screen was really really cool overall it worked there's of course a lot of really funny things that she does and the way she does it and it's very not necessarily creepy just laughing because it can be taken in a creepy context like i didn't find this movie scary i remember maybe there was just one scene towards the end where i was like a little on my on the edge of my seat but i wasn't like oh my god i'm gonna die this movie's killing me this is so scary Overall, Mathrigan was fun-ish. It didn't blow me away. It had dumb characters that only got worse as the movie went on. 
Of course some lazy writing, but like I said, at the end of the day, this was self-aware enough for a decent time. Is it the best movie ever? No. Is it going to be for everyone? God, no. This is like malignant barbarian light. This is like a movie I can see a bunch of middle schoolers going to watch and being like, oh, I just watched a scary movie. And that's perfectly fine. Yeah, you need a movie like that every once in a while. And if this is our January horror movie, I am not complaining. It could have been so much worse. Anyways, I'm going to give Mothrigan a 6.4 out of 10. That was our first movie of 2023. Wasn't horrible. It's a January film, and I think this is a good sign for the rest of 2023. The fact that we got a January horror film that was above a 3 out of 10 shows that we're on a good direction. Comment down below what you guys thought of Mothrigan. Like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.